Oh, we've got a lion story today. Hello and welcome to Discover, Discover the, the Light. Light. Welcome to day four of Discover the Light. Yes, we've got our story with a lion today. We've got a lot of other fun activities to do. I'm excited. Are you, Charlotte? Yes. Are you excited? Wow. He's excited. Let's go. Blessings come down as the prayers go up. The blessings. 
come down as the prayers go up. The blessings come down as the prayers go up. So build your life on the Lord. Hello, children. I wonder if you can guess what animal our story is about today. Rawr! That's right. It's a lion. So, let's read Daniel and the Lion's Den. Lion lived in the jungle. He was fierce and brave. But one day, some hunters caught him in a net. Ooh. They took Lion to the king, and the king put Lion in a pit. Daniel was a good man. He prayed each day. Then the king said, no more praying. But Daniel still prayed. So the king's soldiers threw Daniel in to Lion's pit. Lion saw an angel. The angel closed all of the lion's mouths. No breakfast for lion today. Early in the morning, the king came to the pit. Are you all right, Daniel? He called. Daniel climbed out of the pit. He was safe. Daniel kept praying even when the king said no. And God kept Daniel safe. And that story tells us all about how God keeps us safe. That if we believe in him, that if we keep praying, he hears us, he loves us, and he wants to protect us. And even sometimes when people might think we're a bit silly, if we keep holding on to God, to his word, and praying to him, then we will feel protected and loved, and we know that he hears all of our prayers. Hi everyone, for Thursday's one minute exercise, we're going to be doing burpees, two different types. One's easier again, one's a bit harder. So, for the first one, in the press up position, this is the easier one. Press up position, stand, jump, down, up, jump. Now, for the harder one, do it again, but it's a press up in between. So up, down, up, jump. Okay, so it's joke time again! Yay! Ziki, what have we got in the box? Mm. Ooh, let's see what this yes! one says. Oh, this is from Molly. Molly! And it says, why do giraffes have such long necks? Because they have smelly feet. <laughs> <laughs> and another one? Um, just one more, yes! And another one? This joke is from Lexi. Lexi. And he says, what do you call an angry pea? Grumpy. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, if you have any jokes, 
emails on screen, just email them across to us to have them ch have your chance of them being pulled out of the box tomorrow. Oh, hi everybody. I'm um, just trying to find out what we could do for a craft today. I was looking very hard. Oh, I think I found something. What about one of these? It looks quite exciting, doesn't it? Well, I think it's quite easy to make, so I won't manage it. So, what do we need? We need a paper plate, or if you haven't got a piece of paper, a paper plate, you can use a piece of card, just cereal box or see the back of the biscuits, just draw around a pudding basin. That's doing fine, which is what I'm going to use today. I've run out of paper plates. You need some glue. Now I've got Pritt stick, you can use PVA glue, you can use a glue gun, anything you've got in the house that mummy or any adult doesn't mind you using. You need some felt tip pens, you need an orange one, you need a yellow one, a brown one and a black one. You need some wool. Now, any wool will do. I had some rather nice multicoloured wool here, but I've also got some orange. I've got some form, which I'm probably going to mix together. And you need to cut it into sort of longish lengths, but not too long. Okay, so you might need an adult to help you with that. You need a lolly stick if you've got one, or a straw, fairly strong straw, some sellotape. And you need a little piece of black paper, but that could be white that you colour black, and a piece of white paper. That's for the eyes. And a pair of scissors. And that's about it, I think, I hope. We'll find out, won't we? Right, so we start off with the yellow. Okay, and oh, we don't do it. Well, you can do it on the outside edge, but if you just do it in the middle to start with. And you make it look like the sunshine, which is quite nice. Had lots of sunshine lately, haven't we? It's been really lovely. Are. Then you want the orange one, so you've got the yellow in the middle, and from the yellow you take the orange, just like rays of sunshine going out. That goes nearly to the outside edge, but not quite. We're going to put brown around the outside. I'm just going to do a bit more yellow on top of that orange so they mix in together. I like doing face painting. This is just what I used to do when I did face painting. And it's easier on a piece of card because they don't wriggle. There we go. And then brown. Okay, that's round the outside edge. Now, I've been a bit of a naughty girl. I'm doing it on the table. Please cover the table before you do this. But I can just do it on top of there, then I won't. You can do it as carefully or as quickly as you want to, it doesn't matter. Nearly all the way around. And this is where the line's mane goes and it's a bit darker because the mane goes over the top and makes all the fur look dark underneath. There we go. And 
Nearly done. There we go. Then I'm going to get the orange again and just go over the brown a bit so that it just, just mixes in. So it hasn't got such a very stark edge. Well, you could do it the other way around. You could start with the brown and work through, but there we go. Here we are, nearly done. There you are, so you've got like, say so like sunshine. Now, you want the black pen, okay? And you're going to put a little nose in the middle of the yellow. In the middle of the yellow, you're going to do a triangle upside down. So straight edge, down and up and cut the rim in okay there you are got his nose and then i like him to have a nice smiley mouth so there's a little line and then a sort of hook and a hook the other way as well there we are so that's his mouth and his nose now he needs eyes poor thing you wouldn't see anything if you hadn't have eyes now it's easier if you just draw around something small i've got a frit stick and i did have a pen but i haven't a pen anymore oh dear where's it gone never mind i'll just go around it in the yellow felt tip that'll do it doesn't matter if it's not dead round because Actually, the lion's eyes are slightly slanty. I looked at a picture just to make sure. So, if it comes out slightly slanty, that's fine. Forgot to say, I've got my black paper doubled. Okay, so when you cut it out, you cut two together, and then they'll both be absolutely identical. Okay, so you cut to the fold, cut the fold off, and keep going round. There we go. I've got two eyes now. They're perhaps a bit big, so I'm going to make it a bit more slanty. So I'm just going to cut the top off. There we go. Cut, cut it off a bit so it is not round. There we are. So we've now got two slanty eyes. We're going to put them on on a slant. Right way up. Here's one, and here's two. There we are. And then the white piece is for the white of your eye. So you don't need a very big circle, and it's not very easy to find something to draw around. So you just cut a roundy-ish shape. Don't worry if it's not. Or get an adult to do it for you. There we are. And that goes in the middle of the eye. Like that. And then with your black pen, just a little spot in the middle. Oh, he's beginning to look like a ferocious lion now, isn't he? Right, now, with your print stick, and you need quite a lot of print stick, because I'm going to stick wool all around the outside to make his big mane. Rah! So, here we go. And we go, and we go. And I'm going to use your bits of wool. Okay, so I've cut them into lengths about that long. You might have. And then you're just going to muddle it up. 
like that. Okay, so just squiggle it about. So it looks like a fuzzy bit of hair. You can have a bit of orange in it as well. You can do it how you like. But it's very sticky. You all end up covered in it. Just roll it up. Look, everything's getting covered with all. <laughs> Blue sticks got it. And you need a bit more orange up the top. How's he doing? Oh, oh, needs to stick that in a bit more so we round that off. Push it on. Find all the bits and push them on if you can without getting stuck to it. No, you to be a lion as well. And there he is, all covered. Just press it down as much as you can. Do his hair and make him look neat. And there he goes. Now on the back, in line with his mouth, we're going to stick a lolly stick. So you can play with it. Now you put a bit of print stick on the lolly stick and stick it so that half of it is on the cardboard and half of it is sticking out below. And what I did was put a tape over the top as well because I'm never sure whether the glue is going to hold or not. Right. Try and be good and use scissors, not your teeth to cut it with. Two bits should do it. And then you have a beautiful, happy lion. Lions are very beautiful creatures. There we go. There he is. Rah. Bye, everybody. Enjoy it.
volunteer ask them first and then get some what sits or something of a similar kind and it's how many of these we can throw at our lovely volunteer and how many stick to his face the shaving foam in 30 seconds so we're going to give this a go okay Let's i'll go. set the timer charlotte are we ready we're ready three two one go Oh, they don't stick. Ah! <laughs> no, they're not. None of them are sticking! Yay! Ah! <laughs> oh, stuck a game off. Two! <laughs> Three! Oh. Yay! Three! Oh, they keep falling out. Yay! That's a good one! What's the time? How many? Looks like I only got three. I mean, there were two more that fell off, but <laughs> hopefully, if you do try this at home and ask your grown ups first, you'll beat three. Enjoy. Thank you everybody for joining us for day four of Discover the Light. Um, if you'd like to have a go at doing the craft tomorrow, here's what you'll need. We hope you've really enjoyed yourself today and we're really sad that our holiday club comes to an end tomorrow. But there's still one more day, so we hope to see you all there tomorrow at 10am for our final day of Discover the Light. I can't wait. Bye!